So this is our disappointing movies of 2018. And for this year, we had uh, out of the 18 movies that we saw, we believe that there was four to five really disappointing movies that, that we saw. This and once again, this is not. We didn't go see a lot of the really bad movies this year. It, it was just. What, I'll keep saying it. It's just the movies that we saw. And let's give a number because this year it's different from year to year. Like this year, we saw 18 total movies, which yeah. I think is what is pretty accurate. And out of those 18, only five are disappointing, which is pretty pretty good number. I mean, it's yeah. less than half, so... And some of these, like, they're disappointing, but I didn't hate them. The least disappointing... Incredibles 2 was not... For me, personally, I didn't think it was disappointing. Because I, I just didn't think it lived up to the first one, which isn't really an insult, because the first one was really perfect, in my opinion. But, unfortunately, they kind of went a path that... Uh, it, it didn't. It wasn't boring to me, but it kind of dragged a little bit with what was going on, because Mr. Incredibles being mind-controlled and... The mom was meeting my controller. I mean, I like the I like the element of the kids. Definitely Jack Jack and all that stuff was really good. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, obviously the the visuals. I mean, they are absolutely amazing. Like that's can that is not a complaint about this at all. It's mainly the fact that the first one ends and you see a family lining up and you really want more of the working together factor, and you get it. But I mean, Mister Incredible is totally not utilized in this movie, and that's just a fact. I mean. That's what really disappointed me that you don't need in the first one, you don't they didn't make Mrs. Incredible useless. She got involved in the movie and they really made Mr. Incredible useless in this movie. And that's really what made me really disappointed. That you yeah. didn't need to you didn't need to make one of the characters useless, in this case the dad and the character, but yeah. But uh yeah, we just wanted to get that one first because we don't want to put that in the same category as the next one we're it's talking more about. 50 this next one though is not on the same page. <laughs> Like, really, it's not like we, none of these movies we hated, except for maybe a couple. I, mean, I, I don't hate it, it's just it's really not well, which one is entertaining. Let's, let's just bring it up. Uh. So, Black Panther was disappointing in certain aspects. Certain aspects I loved. And, I'm, obviously, I'm grading this movie, and you can say whatever you want about us, but Black Panther, I love certain aspects about it, but there's certain aspects I didn't like. And there was definitely points that were really disappointing. And, I mean, there are certain, like, a fight scene, like, the end fight scene, I just thought totally got out of hand. It was very disappointing because it's a point where there it's a little over-reliant on CGI when I really didn't think it needed to. Like, in Civil War, yeah, they and, used a real suit, and that's where I really wish they would have used that there. It's very, very iffy CGI for, I mean, because, I mean, I feel like I'm comfortable enough to say the CGI wasn't, up to the standards that they're that the MCU movies usually use. I mean, yeah. MCU movies CGI is perfect. Like in, in, Infinity War was perfect. Like all that stuff. So that you can. I mean, as much as all these people that act like this was the greatest film, like a movement changing movie. That's where I'm totally on the other side. Like for me, I just thought it was okay. Like it was an okay solo film. It yeah. wasn't. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. But everyone trying to act like this was the great, like it changed, it, like someone's like it changed my life, like like that that stuff is like you're either lying, you're trying to make a political statement, like it was an like, okay movie, like you, I mean, you know, like just like I like Jurassic World, like maybe you maybe that people just get one of those movies that really loved it, like what they liked. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just a character, which I'm fine with that. But people trying to act like it's like perfect, it's not yeah. perfect to me at all. But uh, it was just I thought it was okay. There's certain things about the movie that they do that really is not. I mean, I don't know what people just. People just think it's like 100% funny and stuff that's being said, which it's if you flipped it the other way around, it'd be getting panned left and yeah. right. Stuff like that just took me out of it. But once again, there's there's stuff that, like the villain was probably one of my favorite villains in MCU. Come on, I loved... Yeah, there's I, a couple great villains yeah, I liked dude. him. I liked him. I, I liked, loved Black uh, Panther. Like, his character was yeah, great. I liked Black Panther. I liked the world Killmonger. Villain. I liked Ulysses Claw. Right? Is that his yeah. Name? Yeah. Uh, like, I, I liked those guys. Like... There's stuff. There's a lot of stuff I liked, and I also liked the setting and like what, how they fought in that uh, like pond area, yeah, like where the waterfall. For the throne. Honestly, if they would have had that same setting for the final fight, this might have been a different movie for me. Honestly, because it was just the end. It was just like a weird fight going on with rhinos and like weird CGI, and then the fight between Black Panther and Killmonger, which could have been Very really cool, but it's it's really really underwhelming among all the great fight sequences in MCU. And this movie was just very. Like I said, it's okay. It's average to me. I'm not. I mean, w once again, there's things about it that I really liked about it, and I like the character. Of Black, I like Black Panther in Civil War. So yeah. like, it's not. It's not like I'm racist here. Or anything. No, no, no. It's and just, he, yeah, no. it's not and that here's at all. The thing. Yeah, I, I'm literally. It's not that I'm hating on this movie. That middle fight where Killmonger and Black Panther fight, and Killmonger wins. Like that is a great fight. It's gritty and there's stakes. Yeah. And that's oh, that's, that's awesome. exactly where in the same exact movie that was great. 
But the end fight just doesn't have that. Because when it comes down to the end fight, Avengers was great. Because that, 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 that's what you're leaving on. That's the last thing you're seeing, which yeah. is just not very... It, it, it was like, I, even I thought the storyline for the villain was awesome. It set him up perfectly. Like he had a he had a reason to not like Wakanda and like the people yeah. in it. Like it was perfect. And there's some great lines. Like it was very disappointing right. to me and uh, really did not live up to what I wanted it to be. Yeah. <laughs> so and another one that I thought that unfortunately I really was not. I, I liked the ending. Really saved it for me was the nun. Throughout the entire th time, I wanted it to be as good as how they set up the nun in uh, in Conjuring Two. And uh, in parts, in parts they did, they did, uh, they did use it on how I thought they would, which is really, really, it worked perfectly in a couple of moments. Like the, I don't know if you remember the, the mirror scene where you see the mirror, the, the, she's like her shadows walking around the room. Like that was perfect. Yeah. I thought that scene. Then the scene at the beginning where you see the the it's lights, the cans went where the, 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 yeah, that is the beginning. That scene was perfect. Uh, I mean, she, she looks scary, but for the most part, it really did a lot of jump scares, a lot of cheap things. You. Like, like I think I, I think I said it in the in our review, uh, you have what you can look back to. Was it felt like there was some nun or some <laughs> some Annabelle moments? The first Annabelle, like yeah. it was like very like low budget, which you really. I mean, I know it wasn't James Wan, but there's. I really wanted this thing to be a lot better than it was, and like I said, it wasn't for the ending and how they connected it to the first Conjuring, and uh, like who the character was. And a couple of jokes that really landed later on in that movie. Like, that's yeah. what say that movie for us. For me, really, at least, so. Yeah, this is definitely a movie that there are some great, there's some great potential. I mean, the start to this movie, and that's how I feel a lot of these movies started. A lot of these movies had great beginnings. Like, The Nun, where the beginning, even the end credit scene part, it's so awesome. Like, you see her walking down the hallway. Yeah. Like, someone gets sucked in, she's walking out, like, such a boss walk. It's like, this is awesome. But then it just starts going downhill. And there are some great moments, like where they say, like that body wasn't, it wasn't sitting up. Yeah, that, like that was they great. Don't really, yeah, but like that's a creepy moment. They don't, it's not a joke. They don't use it right. Like, oh my gosh, like they that did dead use body it, just yeah. moved on its own. That's like really creepy. And then it's still way better than, a, like ninety, like ninety percent of horror oh, films that come yeah. out. But when you're in the same universe as Conjuring's and stuff that James Wan puts out, it just didn't. It, it came nowhere near meeting the level of horror that it should be in that universe. For the next two that we're gonna do really quick because I don't want to get too into detail about it is Solo, a Star Wars story, and uh, Rampage were two movies that really just like I, I I didn't hate either one of them, but I didn't really walk out of it like thinking about it too much. Like it was just like a okay, very average. Uh, not, it's just, it was, it was just an okay experience. Like, I, I didn't walk out of it excited, or I didn't walk out of it, like, hating it. It was just, like, it just, and I just, I just saw that. It was, it was good. There were some cool moments, but well, for yeah, the most part, it was very, uh, like, forgettable. Yeah, but basically. Rampage, I have a thing about why I was so disappointed, is because the end fight scene, like, there's some great scenes. The yeah, CGI's great. They set up the wolf great. They set up yeah. Rampage CGI's great. CGI's awesome. And they set up the crocodile great. But the fact that when it comes down to the final fight, when the wolf gets taken out by the crocodile, but then if Rampage and the crocodile were going to fight, just that fight couldn't happen. It's like, it's such it a... It's too like, Yeah, it, like, he couldn't fight it. He could only kill it. And, like, at least in Pacific Rim, Gypsy could fight with any country for a little bit. But he could just not fight this thing. And it's just, it's like you wish they could actually have a fight where you could fight for a little bit, but he couldn't fight with him. He's just unstoppable. Yeah, so. seeing the destruction of the city and stuff, you get that, but you just don't see One too much fighting. substance behind the fights. Uh, there's a, a couple things save that movie to make it really to keep really it a, stupid to, to keep it above it. average for me was one of the villains which we really we really like it came out of nowhere <laughs> we really loved that we let that one character it's kind of the same thing for Solo like I wanted to see Solo there's certain parts that, about it that I, I liked how he met Chewie like I love like, that where, yeah. where you you think it's like gonna be something like Monster and that's how he, they met up uh, but for the most part it was very forgettable again. Especially because you're in a universe, once again, that has some really good films. Unfortunately, yeah. not Last Jedi, but Force Awakens, some of the original uh, trilogy Star Wars stuff. Like, it just did not live up to that. Yeah, that for me, that's really not really disappointing. No, I didn't think it was really disappointing. That's, that's, was, that was very average for me. I yeah, it's really, average. Like, thinking back, I don't, I don't really have anything that really bothered me that much. There are, there are some things. There's like, a couple robots. His, his name thing, how he got his name, is really stupid. That That's disappointing to me. Well, but, that... Yeah, but th that one but, robot. But for the yeah, yeah, true. Never mind. This is the part. SJW yeah, for the part, robot. For the most part, I actually liked it. For me, now this is the one that, looking back, I can't believe I gave it as good of a grade as I did. This one honestly is maybe even below. 
It's not below, but th if I could go, I can give a, give a regrade. It'd be a five to six range for me. For Predator? It, it, the Predator for me was one that it, it, I was so mad. Like, I've never been more mad of leaving a theater because... I know, I remember... Because yeah, really we got into an argument at your home because it's just like, this kind of a movie, looking, like, when I, every time I watch the original Predator, all you have to, all you have to do is just find a jungle, get an awesome platoon of soldiers... Have him go on a mission. You don't have to copy the... You really could kind of retrace the kind of same storyline. Have him running through the woods, getting picked off one by one. Have the best, strongest guy have a moment where he fights a predator. And that's that's the, that's such a perfect formula. Like, that's... You, there's so many cool... And that's why at the beginning of this movie, like, I was I, I was going in wanting this to be awesome because I know it's the same universe. And I thought they could do so many different things. Like, we have, like, the nephews of the, of the original team. Or, like, uh, anyone that... The girl that survived. It could be, like, her son or something that, like... Or yeah. something like that, and going in, and then the opening scene, you see like they're in the woods. You see awesome, like it's like an awesome setting. You see the predator, like Once the body again, fall down. Beginning scene is great, and, and you're in the in the woods, which is what I wanted to see. And then after that opening scene, I mean, besides from some jokes, which I did enjoy, I liked the jokes they did, which you don't see in movies nowadays. Other than that, this might have been the most disappointing. It is the most, the most disappointing film of 2018 for me. I don't know about you, but yeah, it is. the just. There's a kid character, the direction they go. The only positive things I can say from this film are the jokes and the, how the Predator looks. That's about yeah. it. Other yeah. than that, it was horrible. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> no, 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 it was, no, I remember, it was disappointing. I remember coming out of the theater, and I remember he was really mad, and I was like, I was like come on, it wasn't that bad. I didn't think it was just no, disappointing. No, I, I remember saying, I was like, it wasn't that bad, but looking back at it, I really, this is absolutely so disappointing. It doesn't I don't know make what, sense. I don't know what I gave the grade, but there are so many things. Like, the predator dogs are useless. The big predator becomes a joke. The kid is just, ruins this movie. It really is. <laughs> like, no, it, it gets so bad. Can, can, I didn't can you tell me right now what the storyline is? What's oh, going on? It gets so confused. No, he the, takes the kid, but then they're like, on a, it, oh my gosh. Because the whole time so I was confused. sitting there like, please, please just... I, can this just all just like form so I can see what's actually going on? Because the one and then people so, are so working much, with them to kill the predators to kill them. You don't them, understand then. that, and then you don't understand the the big really cool predator wants the kid for some reason. I, I still I still don't know why he wants him. I guess because he's smarter than they are, and then the kid calls the predator, a <laughs> and he's not afraid. I mean. That's what made the first one so great. Like, they're all afraid of this thing. Like, Billy's lying. Like, we're all going to die. Like, you have a kid wearing a Predator mask, walking around. The storyline makes zero sense. And at the end, it's one of the most anticlimactic fights I've ever seen. Yeah, it a really girl is jumps onto the, the back of a Predator. A giant and Predator. Giant Predator. And they kill it really easily. And you're supposed to, like, it just ends. And then... I guess I like the kind of predator suit that they could fight against them if they all came down in like a war. But for the most part, this was just such an such a disappointing film because I could literally sit here right now and tell you of ten different ways they could have done this to make this a great film. And for the most, there's <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. Know. It actually is utterly shocking. I don't know what I gave this, but I would have given it three points less because yeah, you have this predator that these top Navy SEALs. These freaking toughest of the tough guys go into this jungle, and they, only one of them comes out, really gets lucky, and they're all getting slaughtered. But then in this one, you have a five-year-old kid yeah. saying, get, on, get off I me, mean, to okay. a giant predator. It's like, when, what when, when Arnold Schwarzenegger says, you are one ugly, like, he's a, he's a really boss guy. He's strong. He can actually, you see, he, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. But, that, that but, but then at the same time, though. but that's okay, because he says that, because he's actually strong. And when you see... He actually does, I mean, the only reason he can take on the Predator in a fight is because he uses the elements of the wood, surprise, like he uses the mud to cover the skin, yeah. like stuff like that. Like, and he like, gets lucky. And, and, like, and, he, he, and, he, and he, he can deliver those lines. And like, like Not some five-year-old kid, besides, only to say this movie that made it above average to me, which I might be regretted after talking now, is the jokes, which I think you agree with, yep. uh, the opening scene, and the, the suit at the end. The suit that they would, remember the suit? The predator yeah. thing, like that idea, not the way that they showed it, but the idea of that was okay. That was our disappointing films of 2018, and before you even go to the comments, like you gave it a seven, a six out of ten. We didn't hate any of these films. The closest one that we came to hating was the Predator, which 
I'd say at the best now, I'd give it a 5 or 5.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye, guys.